The first time I heard uh, API uh, gear was when I went to work as a staff engineer at uh, Sunset Sound Recorders in around 1978. And they had, at that time, uh, all three studios equipped with custom uh, API component uh, consoles built by Bill Bushnell and uh, Frank Demidio. My experience uh, as an independent engineer, or even when I was employed at Sunset, was working largely on, on API consoles, and I used to seek them out. I did do some projects here in town on Neves and was never that, that excited about it, so when I decided to build my own room, uh, finding an API was definitely the, the prime consideration. And this console had originally been at was the, the Electra Records Annex out in Northridge. It was a demo studio. And uh, I know I did some projects out there, although I can't remember who it was. And they closed it, uh, I think, sometime in the late 80s. And um, a lot of it went to uh, Jeff Picaro, the uh, late Jeff Picaro, the drummer. Uh, he built a studio in his um, guest house uh, to record his band Toto. And my understanding is that after four or five years of it being the band Clubhouse, his family persuaded him to, <laughs> to move on, and he sold uh, all the contents of the studio, including the console, to a music school called uh, Grove Music out here. And they never commissioned the board, so eventually it came up for sale, and I bought it, um, I think around 19, probably around 1990, somewhere in there, and actually stored it for several years um, in the Beach Boys warehouse because I was working for them by then because I didn't have a place to put it. And when I bought this this house, one of the considerations was having a place to uh, build a studio. Well, one thing I really like about this console, honestly, among other things, is, is the color. Um, I, I've never been a big fan of black consoles and the fact that this one, you know, came to me uh, with this color, I always, I always liked. I've done a lot of projects with, with uh, uh, Brian Wilson uh, on this console. Uh, most notably, uh, Brian Wilson presents Smile in 2004. Uh, we did all the vocal overdubs and uh, mix um, here, and we actually cut the tracks um, in Studio One at Sunset Sound on another modified API. And certainly, as we move further and further into uh, uh, digital recording and digital technology, um, but but analog uh, front end is just as important as it's it's ever been and uh, will I hope continue to be so.